All right, today we're here to talk a little bit about stabilizers. And I'm with Kerry from K-Tech Designs. Obviously, you guys make a variety of different stabilizers, different lengths, materials, weights. You know, for those guys watching at home that you know may not know a lot about stabilizers, I mean, why don't we talk a little bit about why you would use one, what the different material options are, different weights, and things of that nature that would you know affect your buying decision for your bow. Well, uh, with any bow, you know, stabilizer is going to be a, a positive addition. Um, basically, what it does is it gets a little bit of weight out in front of the bow, right. and, and what that will do essentially with a stabilizer will it will slow down the rotation and settle your sight picture a little bit quicker. That's why you okay. see target bows with 28 and 30 inch uh, stabilizers. An, e an easy analogy that we use is uh, just, you know, if you hold a broomstick out uh, and with nothing on it, or you put a half inch or a half pound weight on the end of it, um, it's gonna be much easier to hold that, that stick with the weight on the end. To hold it steady. And, and the whole premise behind that is to slow that rotational torque down okay. and, and settle your sight picture quicker, uh, especially in a bow hunting situation. Um, you know, I mean, your average bow hunter is usually somewhere, what, a three to seven inch stabilizer Yeah, and it depends on, on the, the bows are so smooth uh, uh, in, in these days that, you know, you really don't need a whole, uh, a massive amount of shock absorption, but right. we design, try to design everything with a weight forward. We put all our weights towards the end of the stabilizer. Okay. That's where you're going to get the most benefit and the most work done. Um, the positive thing with the Matthews harmonic stabilizers integrated into a stabilizer is you, you get that weight forward and you also get some vibration dampening from it. Right. Um, we use, we, we do uh, different designs. This is our Infinity. Um, this one you can, you can twist the weights um, and there again it's, the bows are so smooth and vibration free but you still can gain some, some balance uh, benefits from, from changing the weights and where they're positioned. Right, right. I know, I mean, going back years, you know, stabilizers used to be just Weights. I mean, that's really all they were was was a weighted system a, a steel and bar, yeah, yeah, a steel yeah. bar with some weights on the end of it. I mean, obviously they've come a long way over the last you know 20 years or so. You know, now we're starting to get into some of the you know the polycarbonate material, carbon fibers. You know, there's a lot of different materials available to people out there, like you said, to help dampen vibration on your bow. You know, with some of these today's new newer bows, they don't need a lot of it. But let's face it, there is still some vibration right. no matter the bow manufacturer make or model there's still some vibration so having a stabilizer is going to help take some of that out while also giving you the ability to put some weight on the front of the bow to help essentially stabilize the shot hence or, the name. or offset your sight your quiver you know right uh, right yeah you know. and you know as you guys can see here you know we've got some weights offset on this particular model you know and it's just another function of the stabilizer that you're right. seeing in the last few years when you think about it we've got most of our components mounted on the outside of the bow. So your quiver, your sight, your rest, everything's mounted up here. Exactly. Tends to weight the bow this way. Having a little bit of additional weight here can help so bring that bow out. back, balance it out, you know, help give you a little bit of a better, uh, smoother shot and a little bit more accurate. So, you know, they've definitely come a long way since just the, the steel rod with the weight on it. There's a variety of different options out there. I think the key for a lot of people is probably to, you know, if they can, use a couple different models, see which one they like best. And, and that's one bow. thing we found is uh, everybody's different, you know. Right. Um, somebody, you know, a three inch stabilizer will suit them fine. And right. then there's guys that want a five inch that will just fit in their bow case. So we, we, try, yeah. and we try and cover everything. Well, yeah, there's a lot of things to think about. You start getting those big ones right. and you gotta get a quick disconnect for it or exactly. something where you can fold it up for your bow case. So definitely a lot of things to think about when it comes to stabilizers, but it's definitely a tool that, you know, I think we both would agree that everybody should have on their bow. Uh, it's definitely gonna make a difference in how you shoot, help quiet that vibration down, make it a more enjoyable experience.